Um, so play is really, really important in terms of a dog learning to use these social behaviours. So it's, it's important that puppies play. It's also important that puppies learn when not to play, as you're going to see in the videos. So play is going to shape social behaviour to some extent. So you might have a dog who is very boisterous in their play. And that's fine as long as the opponent dog is also happy with that. But if they get too much boisterous play, they may never learn to slow down and regulate their behaviour. Um, so I think it's important that owners intervene if they notice they have a boisterous dog with training, long lines, well set up social interaction. You know, we, we've got to help them learn the right stuff. If we just let them off lead and let them go bananas, it's not necessarily in their favour. Because if they don't learn um, at a young age how to regulate themselves and use all of these signals to, to help themselves in situations, then they're not a well socialised dog. So even if they've spent the first year of their life playing and having a lovely time in the fields, by their second year, you might just find that they're starting to get into trouble. Um, and that could lead to aggression, it could lead to frustration, or just antisocial behaviour because they're running up to dogs who don't want to play. Um, timid dogs as well, they might have a hard, harder time of things um, in terms of play. So they need to learn that if they're not comfortable, they must freeze and then use other signals, other signals under this sort of behavioural repertoire that we've been talking about to communicate that they're not happy. Um, and they want the other dog to calm down. If they just run away, there's a high chance they're going to get chased. If we're talking about a boisterous dog. So um, so for timid dogs, again, we have to help them learn the right stuff. Um, so we can do that by socialising them with quiet dogs and also just giving them as many opportunities as possible to learn calm and correct behaviour. I have an example of boisterous play. So first of all, the puppy has just run into a situation without doing any social checks first. So whereas an adult dog might start that conversation at a distance, he might do a freeze, stand still, head turn, wait for the reply from the other dog before moving in and getting close to that dog. This puppy has just, typical puppy, run straight in there because he's got so excited. Now, unfortunately, in this situation, we're also dealing with another puppy, <laughs> but a far bigger one. So this Vizsla puppy has just also run in there and he's going too hard and fast for the cockapoo puppy. Now, what's interesting here is the cockapoo puppy manages to calm the Vizsla by freezing, standing still. And then there's a little bit of a head turn. So this puppy's used his common sense and worked out running away is not going to work. He's just going to outrun me and bow me over. So I need to stand still if I'm going to ask him to stop. But then he runs back for more, which again is typical puppy. They'll often get scared, run away from a situation, but then go back in to see if they can make it work again. We've got some nice freezing and head turning here. But again, as soon as the puppy turns his back, the Vizsla gets overstimulated, over aroused. Those hardwired behaviours to be excited by movement take over any kind of social ability and it turns nasty again. Also noticed that the Vizsla's hackles are raised. It suggests adrenaline and over arousal. They know that it, to make it work, they have to be facing each other, but they haven't quite worked out how to make it work yet, bless them. So these dogs just aren't well matched. It just isn't quite gonna work. But he keeps trying, bless him. So here the Vizsla's distracted by something in the distance. He's quite tense about something and he doesn't want to play anymore. So he's actually telling the puppy, no thank you. Again, the Vizsla still doesn't really want to play right now, so he's turning his back on the cockapoo puppy and doing some sniffing. So he's saying no thank you, and it's actually the cockapoo puppy that's now been the bully. But then dogs can be easily persuaded, and so he comes back into the game. But we still haven't managed to make it work for both of them. They're still badly matched, and while the cockapoo puppy is running, the Vizsla is just too hard and fast um, and being far too boisterous. So um, that was an example of boisterous, badly matched play. I think one of, and I will say this later as well, one of the 
best lessons for a young dog is to learn, sorry, you're not playing today. That other dog clearly doesn't want to play with you. He's just seen you and turned away. He's not interested. Um, and I think that's the that's sort of the best lesson for another a, a puppy. So I think restricting a puppy is not a bad thing at all in that case. Both dogs engage in a freeze and then they sim simultaneously engage in a nice chase game. Here, the golden cockapoo runs a little bit too fast into the black dog and the black dog responds by play bowing and going into a down to calm the golden cockapoo. And it's all nice and light and bouncy. The tails are nice and relaxed and wagging. There's lots of interruptions where they're freezing and head turning. So they're making a lot of effort to calm the play and calm the arousal levels intermittently. When they do play chase, um, their movements are nice and light and bouncy. They're taking it in turns as to who is the chaser and who is the chasey. Again, a nice freeze and head turn. Um, notice even when they are freezing and head turning, their bodies are still curved towards each other. So they're still engaging with each other. This conversation is still going on. They're not trying to cut that conversation short. And we can see that by how they're directing their body positioning. And again, that chasing, the movement's nice and light and bouncy. You can see by the tail movement, there's, they're not holding their bodies with a lot of tension there. The tails are nice and um, free moving. It's all nice and light and prancy, which is what we want to see. So they knocked into each other a little bit there and then they immediately fixed it by freezing and head turning before starting again. That was an example of uh, well-matched play and I think those dogs were absolutely spot on for each other. So one last little play slide. We're just going to have a look at um, what it looks like when a dog says no thank you to play. So here we've got a puppy who really wants to get this adult dog to play. The adult dog says no by just standing still, turning his head and he stays still until the puppy gets the message. <laughs> 